It's Wine <laughs> Wednesday, and we're visiting an incredible vineyard in Wallingford. Today. I was going to ask you to say it like that, like you did during the break. I'm oh, glad it's you did. Wine Wednesday. <laughs> exactly. Marcy <laughs> Jones is live there to show us why a visit this holiday season is a great way to celebrate. You know, we we are not limiting the wine to the nicer months, right, Marcy? We got to go to the vineyards all year round. No. It's wine all the time. Even though we say wine Wednesday, it's literally every second of my life. I'm also recruiting right now. We have Christina, who's normally stuck behind the desk at WFSB, but today she's busted out of her cage. She's going wild. We are trying these wines. We're here with my new favorite person, Ali Govea. And your new married name is? Geckum. Uh, oh, we stayed with the G's. I love it. Okay, so we're going to do a little wine tasting. Yes. What do we have here? Okay, so she's trying already, and you can try this one. Mm -hmm. This is okay. Chart. So everything that you see here are all of our estate grown um, wine. Okay. So that means every grape in the bottle um, is grown right here on our farm. Um, so the Chardonnay, we have two Chardonnays. This one is Asian uh, steel. Okay. So it's going to be much more citrusy, almost like a grapefruit flavor to yeah. it. Yeah, it almost has like, you can definitely tell it's a Chardonnay, but it almost tastes more like a Sauvignon Blanc because it's it. very like fruit forward. Exactly. Oh, look at that. Exactly. Okay, and then which one is this? Yes, so this is our um, whirlwind rose. This okay, is I'm gonna hand you that one. Yes. So we have this one actually in sweet and we have it in dry. Okay. Um, this one is the sweeter one. This um, our, our, this one is a, a blend of both uh, red and white, and it has a little bit more of a fruity uh, taste to it. And okay. it'll taste a little bit of like a strawberry flavor. Now this might be a silly question, but mm -hmm. how do you make one more sweet and one more dry? Um, sometimes it's just with adding a little bit of sugar. So we try to keep with the authenticity of the, the grape. So some, okay. some um, wines taste more sweet just because of the grape that they are. Of course, mm -hmm. yes. All right, try that one. Let me know what you think. <laughs> this, it's very good. And it's, this is the main wine that's in our sangria that we offer in the summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I know now that we've uh, switched over to the winter months, what do you offer in place so of we, that? Um, a very uh, awesome mulled wine. It's um, oh. a red wine base. It has a little bit of uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, um, cinnamon. So warming. Soaps. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious. Okay. <laughs> it's your favorite. It's your new favorite? Well, yeah. girl, we're not even halfway down I through the line. Yeah. All right. Okay. What do we okay, have next? So this one is our Stonehouse White. Okay. Um, so this one one is a blend. Mm. Um, this has actually Saval and um, Chardonnay in it. And okay. these two grapes are part of the wine. We have a big harvest uh, celebration every year where we have about 400 people um, come and help us pick our grapes. And these are the grapes that they help uh, pick. So is anyone allowed to come help anyone. you pick? Anyone. No yes, way. it's so much fun. Anyone? So we, yep, yep, we have a big Maybe party. Maybe we could do it on a wine Wednesday? Yes. Really make a party out of it? Oh, this is delicious. Yes. I, it's um, almost floral, I would say. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Oh, Good what? job. What? <laughs> this is incredible. Also, you guys, we're not being rude by not letting Allie drink with us. She has a seven-month-old at home. <laughs> She's a responsible adult and mother. So we're going to give her a little pass here. All right. And then we've got, we're switching over to reds now. Yes. So this is um, our Cabernet. Um, this is going to be medium body. So some um, reds are a little bit lighter in body, uh, okay. like a Pinot Noir because the skins are thinner. Okay. Um, so this one we leave um, the Cheers. the Cheers. wine on the skins for a longer period of time. That gets the, the that redness really. Um, it smells headness. really yeah. good already. That's what would you bit. pair this with? Oh, um, definitely like a meat. Um, we drink with pulled pork. Um, Yum. Yeah. yeah, I could definitely see that. And we just got meat boxes, courtesy of <laughs> WFSB for our holiday oh, gift. Okay. That's perfect. I love it. Now, I know before we get the wrap, we've got to talk about some of your great events coming up. Like you said, you invite everybody each year to do the gathering of the grapes. Yeah. You've got a lot of fun things going on. So um, the harvest is in September. It happens every year. We have the 400 plus people that come. We do a big feast. We do the stomping of the grapes. We do the Portuguese Rancho. Uh, dancers with so with the cool. traditional skirts. Um, right now in December, so on the 18th, we invite you all to come uh, for our holiday sing along. So we wow. have someone that sings all like the holiday tunes. And, and the best place to get information for that, I would right have. on our website okay. um, or on our social media. All right, wonderful. Well, Allie, we've had such a great time. I know this has been the best yes. day of your work. You didn't oh, even have to convert. No, I know. Them. I know. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna raise a little glass to go via Vineyards Wine Wednesday. Yes, ladies. <laughs> Thank you so much, oh. Nicole. Uh, and Scott, we're going to send it on back to you. Happy um, Wine Wednesday. I'm, I'm glad you Cheers. remembered my name. She, <laughs> what do you mean? She kind of skipped the beat there. I was like, there. it has 